So today I wanted to discuss this theorem in group theory. If G is a group of order two or more, and if the only subgroups of G are the trivial group or the G, the group itself, then G is a cyclic group of prime order. Um, we can start this proof by picking a non-identity element. And this is always possible because G has at least two elements and then there is only one identity element. And what we're going to do is we're going to consider the cyclic group generated by X, by G, uh, sorry, generated by X. And this cyclic group is obviously a subset of G. That means this is a subgroup of G. And now, using the given condition, we're assuming that the only subgroups of G are the trivial group or group itself. Uh, this cyclic group, which is a subgroup of G, has to be either the trivial group or G. And then this case is impossible because X is not the identity element. If X is not the identity element, the cyclic group generated by that has at least two elements. So it cannot be equal to the trivial group. So now we know that the cyclic group generated by X has to be equal to G. So we proved that uh, G is a cyclic group. We proved that G is a cyclic group. So now we would like to show that this has prime order. Uh, one problem is that we don't even know if G is an uh, infinite group or not. So there are two cases. G is an infinite group. If G has an infinite number of elements, and then uh, we were considering the cyclic group generated by X. So now let's think about X squared. the cyclic group generated by x squared. So uh, because the cyclic group generated, uh, actually, let's go back one step. Uh, since the cyclic group generated by x is g, which has an infinite order, the order of x is infinite too. So that means whatever number you pick, whatever natural number that you pick, if you raise x to that number, you won't get the identity element. Um, so now let's think about x squared, the cyclic group generated by x squared. So this is not equal to the cyclic group generated by x for an obvious reason because the this one doesn't have any doesn't have x in it and then uh, from what we discussed uh, since x squared has to be a subgroup of g that means x squared is equal to the trivial group or x squared has to be x or g. And then neither of them is possible because x has uh, an infinite order. So the secret group generated by x squared cannot be the trivial group. 
and then the cyclic group generated by x squared cannot be equal to the cyclic group generated by x because this one doesn't contain does not contain x doesn't So really, um, it is impossible that uh, it is impossible that G has an infinite number of elements. G is really just finite. Given these conditions, uh, that G has at least two elements, and then the only subgroups of G are the trivial group or G itself. Given do, uh, using these two conditions, we can prove that G has to be a finite group. So now G is finite. In this case. Now what we want to show is that uh, we only proved that G is a cyclic group, so we want to show that the order is prime. So let uh, suppose uh, suppose that D is not. Suppose that the order is not prime. Then let let's find a proper divisor. of G. And then let's consider a cyclic group generated by X to the D. So this one has the order uh, that is the order of G divided by D. Uh, which is strictly less than uh, so this number is at least more than one and is strictly less than G, the order of G however X to the D is a subgroup of G that means X to the D has to be the identity the trivia group or group itself which is a contradiction because the order of x to the d has to be at least two and the less than strictly less than the order of g which is a contradiction so uh, the order has to be prime 